to another episode of I Want That Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Comfort Cling Holster from Clinger Holsters. Now this is available on their website for $19.99. It features a clipless design inside the waistband carry, the ability to pocket carry, a gel-like cushion material, a high friction or sticky exterior, and a low friction smooth interior. Now for initial impressions on this one, I received it, thought the packaging was kind of clever, it looks like the, uh, the Glock is in the holster itself, uh, it has some details on the back of it. Uh, initially I looked at it and I thought it was pretty simple, there's not very much to it, uh, there's, like I said, there's no clips, the, it's just a, uh, a high friction kind of sticky surface that looks like it, uh, it should hang on pretty well. I did wonder immediately about retention. There's no, like I said, there's no clips, there's nothing like that. So my concern was how well this was going to hold on to it. It definitely did seem sticky and uh, it seems pretty small. There's, uh, there's not a whole lot to it. It's got a pretty small footprint. As far as use for it goes, I found that it fit my shield quite well. Uh, the shield fit into it very nicely. You can see there it uh, gets full coverage along the back of it and uh, you can see it, it slips in and out. Now once I set this up and uh, put it into my waistband and started carrying it, I found that I was uncomfortable with it because I didn't fully trust it to stay in place. Uh, I, my concern, obviously, as I said, was retention and this thing staying on your waistband and not moving. Now I did find throughout the day using it, uh, as long as you're not in a, a situation where you're running or anything like that, it does stay in place pretty well, pretty well. If you're driving, if you're walking around, whatever, it does seem to work pretty well for that. I did find though that when I tried to use some practical application and uh, draw from the holster and things like that, I found that my shield tended to get stuck inside of it. And uh, what you can see here, if you look at this, you can see that this band that comes around the side there comes up and comes in behind the night sights on that. So when you pull that out, it, it hangs up a little. So I did notice a few times where I would go to draw this, I'd give it a tug and the whole holster would come. So that was one thing that concerned me. It didn't stay in place. The last thing I want to do if I get into a situation where I do need to use it is to pull this out and I can't get my finger on the trigger. Uh, this is still on here. I got to slap it off and then try to get on the bad guy or something like that. So that was something that did bother me a little bit. Uh, I did notice that it fits a couple different guns when I'm shooting. It fits my shield pretty well. I went shooting with a buddy and his Glock fit into it pretty nice. He uses a, a Glock 17. That fit pretty nicely. I did find though that my shield is a little large. The trigger guard is a little large. I can really push on it and get it to fit in there for the most part, but not enough to where I would be comfortable using it as a holster for that one. So they do list on the back of their card several different guns that it fits. So those are the ones that should fit pretty well, but that was something that I noticed, at least with my firearms. I did notice that it doesn't print too much. It does a pretty good job of masking the signature of your firearm. It rounds the edges off, smooths that out quite a bit. Obviously there's not a whole lot you can do about the butt, but it did work pretty well for muting that overall. The other thing that I noticed is you really have to either reach down and open it or completely remove it to reset. Meaning that while this is in your waistband, because it is soft, it doesn't feature any kind of internal stiffening device or anything like that, it closes up when it's in your waistband and that makes it difficult to try to reset your firearm and, and get it in there how you like it. So you have to either reach down in your pants, push it open and stuff it down in there or completely remove it, put this back in and then reset into your, your body. So I did try using it for pocket carry. I found that that if you want to have any measure of quickness, pocket carry it does not work for. It fits quite well into a pocket, especially if you're using something like basketball shorts and it does a fantastic job of masking the signature there. Uh, but as, for, as far as being quick or anything like that, it's not going to happen. This is mostly just going to be something that's a, a good alternative that gives you some sort of trigger coverage or something like that while you carry it in your pocket. For likes on it, I like the fact that it's sticky. It does a pretty good job of staying in place. Uh, it's something that I still have an issue with trusting, but like I said, as long as I'm not doing anything really active or anything like that, it does seem to stay in place pretty well. <clears throat> and then I like the price point on it. Uh, I like the fact that it's, you know, it's 20 bucks and, uh, it, you know, if it does end up in that holster drawer with all your other holsters, it's not a huge loss, uh, but I think it does have its place. 
Now, for dislikes on it, I don't like the fact that it tends to come with a pistol. I don't like the fact that my sights get hung up inside of it and it doesn't stay in place when I draw. That's going to be a huge issue. That could mean the difference between life and death if you're in a situation where you need your firearm. So that was a big dislike for me there. For me, I didn't think there was enough retention for me to be comfortable with it. It's not something that I would want to carry on a daily basis purely because there just isn't enough keeping it in place. I don't have anything to guarantee that that's going to stay where it needs to besides a, uh, a bit of a sticky layer on the outside. So that was another big dislike for me. And then uh, I dislike the fact that it's difficult to manipulate. You have to either open it up with your hands or completely remove the holster to reset. But taking all of that into consideration, I'm probably going to go ahead and give this one a 3 out of 5 stars. It's not my favorite product. I understand how it could be a good product, it could have its place, but it's not something for me. So I can't guarantee that this is something that will work for you. Uh, as always, I will go ahead and include a link to their website and Facebook page down below. You can take a look. And if this is something that appeals to you, by all means, it's something to check out. So thanks so much for watching. I do appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. Please do like, subscribe, and share. And just keep checking back on a weekly basis for more reviews of awesome products just like this one that will make you say, I want that.